Wozniak gives a Lambert a real shove, and what a move from Jason Doyle! Steams into the lead, he's tied down the back straight with Lambert coming on strong. He slips into second place. What a dramatic first quarter of Speedway that was. Quick thinking from the championship leader, bars himself to the front. Yeah, Lambert showing he's got plenty of straight line speed. I tell you what, Jason Doyle is going to be under fire here. Whoa. It's going to be a battle down into turn three, but as you say, Kelvin, Jason Doyle thinking on his feet, thinking so quickly in that first turn. Brilliant move from Doyle, very nearly threw it away by just moving a fraction off the line. Lambert looks very threatening in second place. They were neck and neck down the back straight last time around. Wozniak's steady in third. It's all about the front two here. Lambert's got pace. He's got a lot of pace, looking for a way through. But I say Doyle's got to hang tough. Keep it on the line. Lambert running around high and wide. It's wheels in line, generating more and more speed. No room at the end there. Doyle has ridden very smart there on the last turn. Doyle starts where he left off in the Nanadovi, winning races once again. Green light is on, tapes up. Oh, great reaction from Kavera on the inside. They all get there in a heap, but it's all oh, Quebec's Ooh. off. Quebec is off. Watch this again, Chris. Yep, Kavera on the inside in red there, just front wheel across the grass. Oh, nice. it's, it's, yeah, his body language says he does, but I'm, I'm not sure. He stops that much. At the same time, actually, Jan Kovec has just collected a bit of a rut going into the corner and gone straight. If you watch the rider in blue, bike does straighten up a little bit on him, but uh, we are hearing it's all four riders back, so yeah, that's right good decision. News. Right decision from the referee. A little bit of six of one, half a dozen the other. Yeah. Kubera there pulling a big locker. I think he pulled, it almost stops the bike yeah, there. Yeah, he does pull a locker. Quebec uh, had no choice, no, but... Um, no, an uh, awkward like... crash, high side. So easy to do a collarbone here. Oh, I don't know how he... Oh, he hasn't, to be honest. He's young, that's why he hasn't. He's flexible. He, he's flexible, so um, uh, if it was you and I, we might not have got up from that one, but... Oh, I'd um, still be there now. Yeah, <laughs> taking a breather. He releases them now! And look at them go, Simon Wozniak. What a start from him, he gets a shove from Smarzlik. Here comes Holder, switching back to the inside. Smart move from Jack Holder, needed to do that. It's Wozniak! It's a duck under Holder's handlebars to make that move. Gone very, very wide. Holder's trying to respond. But watch the act. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Repeating it down the start and finish straight. Now, here comes Smartly back up the inside. Watch the act. That's a sensational bit of speedway from Wozniak. Uh, Smarzik doesn't know where he's coming from next. That is a brilliant couple of laps from uh, Wozniak there. Absolutely superb stuff. Really caught Smarzik unaware. He just didn't know where he was coming from. And Jack Holder, the hoodoo is broken now for gate four. He's in third place. Well, Simon Wozniak, he's never ridden better in a speedway race. That was extraordinary stuff from him. He's into the last lap, and Bartosz Smarzlik had no answer. He took him by surprise. He made the similar move on both straights early in the race. And Wozniak is going to pick up a brilliant win here in his second outing. Heat number five is going to get tied. Here comes Smarzlik up the inside. Closing, closing, not enough. Two, but it's tight going there. Was next on the outside. Look at Martin Smolinski. He's up the inside, he's involved, but he's got swallowed up. Coming out of turn number two on the opening lap. Madsen on his spare bike. He's fired himself to the front. Exactly what he needed. Was next responding beautifully, coming through into second place. Martin Vasilik out gate number three is struggling at the back foot with Leon oh, Madsen. Was next. Oh! <laughs> Simon Wozniak, that bike just hooked up and just flew down the back straight. Brilliant stuff. Great uh, right there from Simon Wozniak. Now Leon Madsen making chase, looking for a way up the inside. You can see his roll-offs there dangling behind him. That will be putting him oh, off. He's got some speed. Here we go Coming again. Wozniak under immense pressure now. Wozniak there very nearly passed by Leon Madsen. Madsen with the roll-off streaming behind him. Fantastic Stunned. season, Madsen stunned him. What a stunning ride from Leon Madsen. Wozniak hasn't thrown the towel in. He's roaring around the outside. Once again, we're witnessing stunning speedway here in Landshut this evening. Martin Vasilik in third place. But that is some ride from Leon Madsen. Takes her up, long pause. Brilliant reaction from Holland. 
holder. Look at Wolfenden, though. That run from the outside, absolutely perfect there. That was textbook stuff from Wolfenden. Round the outside comes Jason Doyle. He comes roaring into second place. Doyle there looking good again. Can holder respond round the inside? Rounds turns three and four. No, he can't. Wolfenden's out in front. That's where he needs to be, Chris. Yeah, he needs this. He's uh, on four at the moment. Let's remove him on to seven. I'll tell you what, he's coming under holder. pressure now from holder. Up the inside, Jason Doyle was being a little bit cautious, I think, thinking two points was uh, better than one, but uh, unfortunately he's paid the price because Jack Holder now really giving Jason Wolfenden. Wolfenden now electing to ride tight. Doyle's around the outside. This race is not over. This is not done. You've got 100% tries behind. Wolfenden electing to go wide. Holder's gone tight. They're going into the last lap just about now. It's tight out in front. Wolfenden hanging on. Desperate for the three points. Desperate for the win to keep his Grand Prix alive tonight. Gate number four coming to his rescue. And he has ridden superbly well here, Ty Wiffenden. Up against very strong opposition. Here in the fifth outing, takes her up. Spun all the way to the corner there, Holder. Fight didn't go forward at all. Robert Lambert absolutely perfect into the first turn. Round the outside is Hookenbeck coming on strong. Jack Holder, well, he's going to have to produce something very special now if he's going to make the semi-finals. He comes back into second place. Lambert's out in front. Jack Holder charging in second place. I tell you what, Jack Holder is going to have to lay everything on the line. His team will have told him, you need a race win here if you want to be sure of being in the semi-finals and he is putting it all out there. He's left nothing in the toolbox. Robert Lambert riding brilliantly. The problem for Holder was he spun off, off, the, off the start. He's in the front. What a move from Holder. Lambert, can he respond? Oh, not quite. What a move from Jack Holder when he absolutely had to do it. Fantastic speedway here in Heat 18. And Jack Holder showing great character here. It's tied down the back straight for the last time. But Jack Holder, what a moment for him, coming through in stunning style here in heat number 18. What a ride from Jack Holder. It's semi-final one. Oh, long pause. Smarzik's made a lovely jump. He gets to the first turn, elects to go right round the inside. Doyle's gone wide and gone nowhere. Here we come, Mickelson coming off the first turn, but Leon Madsen now up the inside. Oh, that was strong from uh, Bartosz Smarzik. They're queuing up behind him. The two Danes are swapping places for fun. Leon Madsen and Mickelson. Mickelson takes Madsen wide. Madsen ready beautifully trying to get back up the inside. I tell you what, the two Danes are taking no prisoners here. They are elbow to elbow, giving each other a really hard time. I suspect that Mickelson now will have the speed. He's had good speed all night. Smarzik, meanwhile, checking out out front. All skating across the corner there. Madsen's yeah. going to have a run. Madsen coming at it. It's a disappointment for Doyle. Some sort of problem. Here comes Madsen up the inside. Desperately trying to get in the second place and make his first final. Smarzik's got it in the back. Barring any mechanical issues, Smarzik off the inside gate. Impeccable. What a race for second. One last blast now. Mickelson's gone tight. Madsen's coming round the outside. Run to the line. Which way is it going to go? Mickelson's in. Smarzik, like the champion, the world champion's in as well. Up, we're underway. Lambert's made a fabulous start from gate two. Holder, even better. Oh, oh Lambert's lifted violently in the first corner. He's now vulnerable down the back straight. That's allowed Jack Holder to come through. Round the outside is Kubera. Oh, I can't believe what I'm witnessing here. Jack Holder has come on strong and he's out of gate number three and he's in. Well, he's fired himself to the front. Jack Holder's doing it when it counts. A great ride there from the man in yellow, Kubera, to get himself in the second place. You got a feel for Robert Lambert. He'd made a decent start, and the bike just lurched forward in the middle of the corner and unsettled him. But uh, at the moment, it looks like Kubera's going to make the final. But Jack Holder coming good at the right time. Well, Jack Holder really turning on the style. Didn't win a race in his first four outings tonight. 
and he won his last qualifying heat, heat 18. He's going to do it again in semi-final two. Kubera took advantage of the mistake by Robert Lambert. Got himself, going to make another final. Kubera coming on strong. Beauty going to miss out. He's going to be really disappointed. So will Lambert as well. Both Brits missing out. But Jack Holder, what a way to keep the ball rolling. Takes her up. Holder's made it off the inside. Mickelson. Whoa, what a start from gate number three. Couldn't win there all night long. He fires himself to the front. Holder in the second place. Marsley back in third. Mickelson has had a couple of really tough years. The only reason he's in the Grand Prix is because he won the European Championship. He's out in front. What a stunning start for Mikkel Mickelson from gate number three. Oh, great stuff from Mickelson. Absolutely superb. Came in tonight in tenth place. He'll be moving up the standings if he can hold on to this. He'll be hearing every noise now as Smarslik is uh, doing his best there. But it's Jack Holder putting him under pressure around the inside. I think he's oh, going to stick to his guns. Here we go. Jack Holder coming on strong in second place. Mikkel Mickelson now slams the door shut. Just over a lap to go to do that because Jack Holder was coming on so very strong in second place. What a moment this will be for Mikko Mikkelsen. Oh, smart it now. Oh, it comes Holder back up the inside. Stunning speedway here in Germany tonight. But Mikko Mikkelsen out of the last corner. What a moment for him. He wins in Germany. He wins his first Grand Prix. What a moment for Mikko Mikkelsen. Oh, look at that. Sensational moment for him. An oh, unbelievable start from gate number three. Bartos Marslik and Jack Holder swapping places late on in the final. Fabulous speedway, speedway out of the top draw. Don't care. My draw is big. It's full. Big. It's full.